Hey, this is Chris McCombs. How you doing? I am here with Kickback Life KBL Mastermind member and uh, owner of M2 Fitness Pros, Emil Giroux. Emil, how you doing, buddy? Pleasure, pleasure. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, good to What's see you, bro. What's happening? Just hanging out with you in uh, beautiful Orange County, California. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Looks really nice. Looks nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Kids are out by the pool with the babysitter. I'm here talking to you, uh, with Emil and some things you learned in the uh, in the recent mastermind that you've been implementing in your business and uh, basically. You're up in Long Beach, yep. and you have a boot camp and a fitness studio, and you have about 20 girls who help pull clients into your business, and you do a whole bunch of different stuff out there. But what I want to focus on today is some things that uh, were talked about in the mastermind that you think that trainers can really learn from and benefit from in their own businesses. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for inviting me, and you know, the, the opportunity to talk about this and what we did uh, at the last meeting. Um, you know, you go into a setup like that, and there's a lot of us in one room. Some of the people, you know, when they come into an environment like that, feel a little uncomfortable. And I, I noticed it, and I kind of felt it myself when I walked into the room and I had a chance to rub elbows with a couple of guys that I hadn't seen on this level, uh, maybe because I've just kind of slowly moved up the, uh, I guess, the food chain myself, the ladder, um, been meeting some guys like Sean and uh, uh, working with Andy now and, you know, uh, Seven Figure Sam. Uh, but, you know, some people that are just coming into the game, uh, one of the guys named Ben um, is just now, I think he's uh, in Newport, really starting his business. We all sat around and discussed a lot of different things over the weekend, and some of it um, I, I didn't know. I didn't really know that well, and it was kind of interesting because I'd overheard conversations with a couple of the guys about just common things like different platforms uh, for delivering what it is we do, whether it be our websites, uh, the things that we're using to attract customers. Um, what I'm finding is that, you know, as technology evolves really quickly, we've got to try to stay in touch with it and learn it as fast as we can. And sometimes the task can be daunting. So, you know, when you have other guys and other women that are part of a mastermind group, what it does is it really helps accelerate your learning. It takes all of that, 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 that struggle out of it and it makes it a lot easier because someone who's gone through the process and shows you do this, don't do that, do this part and it'll be faster. And maybe you need to start at this level here and then get that in place and then do these next steps. So it was really kind of cool to hear everybody kind of break things down and talk about tools and things that they were using to help speed up their business success, whether it be from systems on client acquisition or customer service or how to move from the boot camp model, which uh, you know some are doing, and moving from the private uh, training model in a big gym and now opening your studio like Sako. I thought that was a killer video. His place is ridiculous. I'm like jealous. You know, Jesus, it's like a, it's a great step for a guy to come in early in the game. You know, and, and I remember when Sako was training at LA Fitness down the street here, wearing a little blue shirt, training as an employee trainer, probably making barely more than barely much more than ten dollars an hour working for someone else. And, and now he owns his own studio. He's got a boot camp out there with 117 clients that other trainers train. Yeah, uh, he's got his own personal training clients. And he still he still loves training. So uh, in the group, we got him to cut down from 50 hours a week. 25 hours a week, uh, and we're keeping him accountable to that. He's in, and he's training less hours, but he's still making more money, and he's growing his business, and he has other trainers working for him. Um, but he's one of those guys who really loves to be in the trenches. Um, what I want to talk about in a second is how uh, some of the conversion strategies from getting from upselling people from just regular boot camp stuff into getting a little bit of more, a little bit more money uh, by adding more value to their life. Um, and a lot of the stuff we learned is basically from going around the group and focusing on each member's business for, for uh, some time. And they would basically spill their guts about what they're doing in their business, uh, their hurdles or struggles or challenges or goals, where they want to go. And uh, the other members of the group would then chime in and tell them, you know, hey, I've been there. This is my experience with that. Are you going to want to use that? Or, hey, you don't want to do that. Because we all come from a box. We all see the world in our own, like, little yeah. box. And some of us, you know, see much bigger boxes than others. And yeah. I know at times in my life I've, like, looked through just, you know, real narrow focus, man. Yeah. And when you go in a room and you have these people who have all the different perceptions of their business and, and they've gone through a lot of the things and maybe they're more seasoned in some areas. And maybe a newer guy, but he knows more about using a certain kind of software for the business or whatever. And you have 
have the power of everybody helping each other out like that, that's a, a, yeah. a pretty profound thing. Yeah, that's a good point. And, and that's, that's the thing that someone like myself, I'm old school, I've been in the trenches for a long time, and really hats off you know, to Sacco because he's come from a place really quickly and technology has allowed him to learn what he needed to know quick, really fast, and then to have the support of some more seasoned veterans saying, hey, you can do this, you got to go. It's like having your own built-in cheerleading team that really pushes you to do things that you might not have, or at least I never did, because Jesus Christ, 20 years ago, we didn't have these tools. So learning how to do this from a bunch of people, you move a lot faster in five years than it took me 20 years you know it's incredible but the thing that really for soccer to open up that gym and then with all of these boot camp models this is this is the thing that I'd, I'd like to kind of discuss you know you have a boot camp model and you you want to start moving into a place where you're making some more money so you're charging either somewhere in the neighborhood of $149 all the way up to 249 a month for that model you have maybe 50 to 100 people the next step in your, your funnel or your ascension ladder, what it's called, just kind of envisioning a ladder going from one level to the next, is to take those customers and from that group, you know that there's a group of people that are still really the overachievers and then the majority in the middle that are kind of making progress or showing up and they're not really you know, going plus or minus and then there's a group that's going to be dropping off. You want to look at those overachievers on the front end, and some of those that are sitting right on the fence in the middle, you can move them into that semi-private model. And if you're doing 149 up to 249, you can offer to those people, when you have a studio environment to train, you might still be in that boot camp model doing stuff outside, but if you have an indoor studio, this is ideal because now you can take those people and charge them somewhere in the neighborhood about another $99 upsell. And you can get them to do at least one semi-private per week. This is going to add just one, a couple of things. It's going to give you not that much money right away, but it's going to give you like a test tube or a, a Petri disc, a beta test group of people so that you can start getting a system of developing, well, I'm going to do this exercise and this exercise and this exercise, and I'm going to get a circuit going for 45 minutes with this group. Then you can move it from four people to six people and then to eight people and then start building your schedule. It can take you 30 to 60 days to really make a really big bump, but that's a five-figure revenue stream right there just by adding that to your current boot camp structure so it's an upsell that way the next layer would be to add some kind of uh, weight management class so you have the boot camp then you have that semi private training in the studio and then you want to dial in their diet and make it a little bit more specific so that they can start getting that polished look in their physiques the boot camp is great, great cardio helps them to strip the fat, but it's the semi-private model that's going to help shape the body. And this is where we brought in, like our girls, the Team Fox group, because these girls are competitive athletes, so they train on a whole different level. When other women see those bodies and understand it's not just the boot camp, but it's the free weight training in a studio that really adds that edge, and the diet that they follow is not just some kind of prefab, you know, off-the-cuff diet. It's detailed for their specific body type, what their goals are, that's another $99 upsell. So you can go from that $149, $299, all the way up to that $399 and $499 range by adding these little upsell ticket prices. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, there's a, certain, uh, there's a certain amount of your clients, maybe 5 or 10%, who will buy a premium version. They'll buy more stuff. They'll send up the ladder. There's only really three ways to make more money in your business. It's get more leads, convert a higher percentage of those leads, and then get more money from each of those of the people who become paying clients, right? right? And there's about five or ten percent of them who are happy to give you more money. What Emil's talking about is finding them and just not trying to upsell them right away on something that costs three times as much, but slowly moving them up your ascension ladder. And as long as you're adding more value to their life, you're not just trying to get more money out of them, but you're actually helping them get better results. Uh, that's one way to you could literally make well, you know a lot more money yeah. in your business. Yeah, and, and let's be clear. And I'm not talking about you know using some crazy NLP strategy or anything tricky, but it's you have a script until you can be comfortable saying it. It's like 
you know who are the standout people are in your crowd, like some of the women, and most of us have mainly women in our schedule, and there may be some of the guys that are looking pretty good, but it's mainly the women, and there's some of them that really stand out, and it's not too hard to pay them a compliment, and when you pay them the compliment and then offer them the opportunity to try this next step, it's going to be just a natural progression for them, so it's not like you're you know, doing anything that's crazy uh, that could be interpreted like you're trying to go out or go after them for all this extra money, but it's part of what needs to happen like you start in grade school and you go to middle school and high school it's time to graduate all of us need to graduate to the next level so if you're that trainer training in a gym follow Sako's model and get yourself you know with your eyes on that next gym or if you're out in the park doing the gym classes you know or the boot camp classes you want to get inside of a studio this is what you've got to do we've got to encourage each other to evolve and that was one of the other big pluses of the mastermind is just people hold you accountable I know a lot of us and like where I came up as a guy uh, in my neighborhood, it was really, really difficult to want to admit that you didn't know anything, but when you're around a bunch of other people, and they're going to call you on your stuff. They're going to call you out and say, hey, what's going on with that project? What are you doing with this? What are you doing with that? Because we sit down right at the beginning of the meeting, identify where we are, where we want to be, and then look at some of the steps that need to be taken so that we can get to that goal. If you're stuck in your head with your ego talking about you don't want anybody to see what you don't know, how are you going to know what you need to know to grow? Right? So in that mastermind group, that was one of the biggest you know, take-homes for me is just, I heard about some systems over here from a guy who's in his mid-20s, you know, here I'm 51 years old. Right? I'm not Mr. Technology Guy. So learning that stuff and then immediately implementing it in a business, it took me up a few notches. So I know for a fact that a lot of people might think, yeah, you know, I don't feel comfortable doing that. But trust me when I tell you, it happens at all ages for all of us. You're constantly fighting that inner battle, those demons, that monkey on your back. You've got to push through that stuff to get to the next level. It has to happen. That's what we're all going to do. And if Jesus, I think the, what, the world, we have what, 6.6 .6 billion people on it. There's enough business for all of us. There is, no doubt about it. We could work all day, seven days a week, and never sleep. Yeah, as long as you have enough value to the world. You know what's been blowing me away, man, is that you're 51 years old. I thought you were like 25. I mean, right. I'm 53, and to find out you're two years <laughs> younger than me. He's only two years younger than me. Oh, oh man, yeah. I thought you were like 25. Well, hey, it's this fitness lifestyle, brother. It's this. This is the, the anti-aging thing, man. I love this business, and if you're not in this business for real to help people, you might want to do something else. You really do. You need to really be in this, be passionate about it. It's going to show through basically in how you look, how you feel, how you project what you project. And when you start talking to people about wanting to help them and move them from one level of fitness to the next level, you need to walk your talk. It's hugely important. I might have ranted a little bit about that at the last meeting. I might have brought that You're up. You're Mr. Fat Loss, man. You're I, always in shape. That's thing. You just got to be in shape, right? You got to yeah. be in shape. but. You know, I really think it's a solid group of people, and I, you know, I mean, uh, I really look forward to talking. We have like a little portal that we all talk and interact on, and uh, there's so much information, and it's like getting support now. I mean, again, when I started, we didn't have that. So the Facebook, it's like everybody's talking to everybody, and you get an answer. That's great. We have that private, that, that, that little private area yeah. for the members. You totally go and you can cool. go and ask a question, yeah. and you know, within a few hours, usually other members of the mastermind are in there chiming in, helping everybody out. Exactly. You're, you're in there a yeah. lot, man. I You've been helping out a lot of guys in there. I scan it all the time, and I had a chance to talk with Sako about his spot, you know, and Justin has a spot in Vegas, and. You know, everybody's doing these things, and it's like the senior members are at a place where they're able to, because the financial resources are a little different for them, they're going out. I know Sammy's out here learning all kinds of stuff, and we end up taking it and kind of streamlining the information so that we can teach each other the new stuff. If all of us dedicated ourselves to learning new stuff every single day, and then we all got together and then taught what we learned from the books that we all are reading, all the courses that we're all doing, all the groups that we've been together with, and we start teaching each other all of that stuff, we're all going to succeed. We're all going to be really, really successful. That's the mastermind. That's it. Emil. That's nuts, man. M2 Fitness Pros, Long Beach. I, I really appreciate your time, brother. And it's no always problem. good to have you, man. Everyone Thanks. loves you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Right. I really appreciate it. Chris McCombs, KBI Mastermind, kickbacklife.com. Have a great day. 51 years old. You believe that? Don't look a day over 25. Ooh.